Okay, everybody, we're out at the fitness park and we're going to show you some exercises that you can do when you come back here, whether you walk back here, ride a bike, golf cart. To add to your exercise day, you can do some of these exercises. First one we're going to do on this station is a simple step over for hip mobility. So we want to raise the leg in front and then down, up and over and down. And this is going to help with the mobility of the hip. We want to keep those hips nice and mobile. And there's also a balance element here. When you're on that one foot, the rest of your body has to wake up. All those balancing muscles have to wake up to balance and coordinate you to make that step over. Okay, next exercise is a little bit more advanced. So if you feel you're an advanced participant, we're going to do hop overs. So again, we're just going to take that little bar, which is only a few inches off the ground. We're going to hop over. Just make sure you clear it. And this is a good leg and glute lower body workout. Just hopping from side to side. You can time yourself or count reps. 30 seconds to a minute would be a great place to go on here. And a good exercise again for lower body. Okay, next station is this sit-up bench. And we're gonna do a couple exercises on here. First, we're gonna do your glute bridges. So you wanna lie flat on the bench. You do wanna make sure you are holding on to the handles at the side or the bars on the side. And just put your feet on top of the top bar. And from there, you're just going to press down to elevate your hips. That's going to activate back of your thighs, hamstrings, glutes, and some low back musculature. Great exercise for what we call that posterior chain of musculature across the glutes and low back and hamstring muscles across the back of the legs. Okay, next exercise on this same station on the ab bench, you can just do crunches. So just going to lie back flat with, again, your feet will be on that top bar. And we just want to elevate. Just think about rolling yourself up forward. You're kind of aiming your chin up toward the sky as you go forward. And just think about your abdominals pulling you up. This is a definitely an abdominal exercise. And those muscles are just contracting and then releasing you back. And again, you can keep a count of your reps or you can go for time. Okay, next one on this same station, we're going to do just a little partial sit-up. For this one, you're going to hook your feet underneath the bottom bar. And then we're just going to lower your body backwards, maybe a quarter, third, or maybe halfway at the most. And then again, you're just focusing on your abdominal wall, pushing you forward and lowering you back nice and steady. You just want to be careful not to go too far back on this one. Start off very, very slowly, maybe a quarter of the way back. And as you feel comfortable, you can go back just a little bit farther, but you don't need to go back very far. You'll feel your abdominals turn on right away. Last exercise on this same station, right next to the ab bench, is a low back station. You want to put your feet, the back of your feet, right against the bottom green stem, and then your knees and legs against the two black pads in the front. And you're not going to lean forward very far. What you're going to do is bend at the hips and at the knees. And this is going to activate your glutes, hamstrings, which are the back of the thighs, and your low back. So again, that posterior chain of musculature gets worked. Again, just do what you do at your level as far as how far down you go. Okay, next station is, we call it the high chair or the captain's chair, but it's basically an ab station. So again, you want to get yourself securely with arms down against the black pads and hands holding onto the green stem. And you can see Sandy's holding herself up tall in the station as she pulls her knees upward, which is going to take strength of abdominal muscles and hip flexor muscles which run down the front of your leg and this is a fairly difficult exercise so again if you can tackle it great and i'm going to show you another exercise that's a little bit easier after this one so next exercise is a beginner exercise so if you cannot do the double leg raise we're just going to take one leg with each leg fully extended as you're doing that focus on pressing your low back into the back pad and as you do that, you'll feel your abdominals light up. E even though you're just lifting one leg, it takes a lot of work for your abdominals to actually lift the leg a as long as your low back is pressed into that back pad. So this is another good abdominal exercise to do. Okay, next station, we're gonna use this for step up lunges. So hold on to the green handle that's there, pick a foot, and you're gonna step up, raise the opposite leg. And when you land that back leg, Bend that back knee just a little bit. That'll give you a little bit more range of motion. And it makes that glute muscle on the working leg have to work harder. So right now, Sandy's left leg is doing the work. And then when you got enough reps on that leg, keep a count, we're gonna switch legs. 
and then the other leg would do the same thing. We're just gonna step up, let that back knee bend a little bit as you go down, and then press with that front leg to come on up. Good lower body exercise works the glutes. Okay, next thing you could do on this station is a balance exercise. So use the lower tier, just get on one leg, elevate the other leg, but you wanna keep that hand close to that green bar. So if you start to lose your balance, you just hold on. But otherwise, this is a nice balance exercise. It wakes up all the muscles of your body, all those balancing muscles. The stationary leg that's down, always make sure your knee has a slight bend to it. It's unlocked, it is not locked out. And this will work great for balance. And when you've got your time, switch legs. So then you go to the other leg, hold on as you lift it. And now just release, but keep that hand close by and you'll get really good at this. Balance takes a lot of practice. It will come back with work. It's a great asset to have. So this is a really good exercise you can do out here for balance. All right, you can do a stretch while you're on here. So if you keep your heel on the bottom station and your toe toward the top, get planted good and solid. And then you can just, if you lean your body forward, you should feel a stretch in the calf and the back of the thigh. So you got a nice stretch going here. Good exercise to do, good stretch to do, either when you're all done. Again, if you're just starting out, you wanna do this very mildly. If you're done exercising, you can be a little bit more ambitious. But I like to pulse in and out of exercises, nice and easy, forward, in and out. Come on out of that, Sandy. Good, go back in. There you go, pulsing in and out is a great way to really loosen up those muscles in the back of the thighs here and across the calves. Let me show you another one for the calves while she's on here. Sandy, you're gonna stay up straight Keep that foot right where it was. And now staying up straight, just push your hips forward gently. And that's gonna go right to the calf. Her left calf is getting a nice stretch there, so come on out of that and then go back in. So all you have to do on this one is get in position, toe up, heel down, and just aim your hips forward. For now, your straight leg, and just push your hips forward, and then you can come in and out of that. So come on out, and that'll go right to those calf muscles. Good stretch for those muscles back there. All right, on this station out here, you'll see this step. And we're gonna use it for an, a plank. So this is a modified plank because Sandy's not on the ground with her elbows. Her elbows are elevated, which makes it just a little bit easier to do the plank. Again, this is a more advanced exercise. So if you can do a plank, great exercise. Again, you can hold for time here. Just count seconds off or watch your watch. And great exercise for the entire front musculature of the body, particularly the abdominals. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna do an assisted pull up here. So we're gonna walk forward with your feet. Your hands are holding onto that green bar very tightly. So let your feet go underneath that platform. You're gonna lower yourself back and just pull yourself forward. This is a pretty advanced exercise for your back muscles, back and arms, biceps. Do a lot of work here. Just get whatever reps you can. And then when you are done, just walk your feet backwards again toward where you started from. So that's good. Now let's walk your feet back and you are holding on again, very strong grip. And again, advanced exercise. Next station are these two bars that are sitting here. We're gonna use the upper one, which is the easier version. We're gonna do a modified push-up. So get your grip just outside of your shoulders, feet walk backwards on your toes and then her hips go down. So you want your hips down. So your body's in a straight line and then very slowly and carefully, you're just gonna lower yourself down. Now again, this is a hard exercise. Sandy's in great shape and this is not easy for her. So go get whatever depth. Now do a half one, Sandy, or a quarter. Just a little, there you go. Cause your chest and triceps are doing a lot of work on here. So again, this is a pretty advanced exercise. If you can do it, great. It's a good way to get your chest and triceps working. And then when you're done, walk yourself back forward with your feet and come on up. Okay, so for this exercise, we're gonna give you an easier pull-up to do. So on this station, it's a bench. When you get in position, you can see you want your knees bent, feet flat on the bench. And now this type of pull-up will be a little bit easier because you're actually gonna get some assistance from your legs. And because your legs are not extended from a leverage standpoint, this pull-up becomes easier. So this is more of a beginner intermediate version of the pull-up that we did earlier. And this is a great way to get those back and arm muscles working, doing your pull-ups. Okay, the next exercise we can do on this bench is for the triceps, the back of the arms. So get in position. You can actually start by sitting on the bench and you want your hands right next to your body. And then just lower yourself by moving your elbows back behind you and then pressing yourself back up. You just make sure you don't wanna go down too deep. You're going down about halfway and then push yourself back up toward the top. And now we're gonna show you an easier version of this. We're gonna have Sandy bend her legs back and now same, everything else is the same. 
And this is like taking weights off the weight stack. It just makes the exercise a little bit easier. Again, the back of your arms do the work here, the triceps. Okay, now we're on the balance bar. So basically, again, a little bit more of an advanced exercise. There are other exercises on here for balance that I showed you already on other stations. Okay, on this station here, again, with those two tiers, you can do deep knee bend squats here. So what you want to do is hold on to that green bar. And the form here is important. So if you can see, Sandy's knees are not moving forward. She's more or less letting her hips go behind her and then pressing her heels into the floor to come back up. Great exercise to do for the glutes, hamstrings, and quadriceps. Everything between knees and hips are working. And again, just get your reps. And when you're done, you are done. Okay, before we start this exercise, this is another deep knee bend squat. And we're gonna use this station out here, this big white platform. Just get set, you're in a seated position. Your feet are split apart, a little wider than shoulders. And we're just gonna sit from that fully seated position and then kind of lean yourself forward and then press your feet into the floor to stand up. So this is unassisted. So the last exercise, we had you holding onto the bar. This is advanced because you're not holding on. Keep your head forward. Body's in good posture. Again, her hips are going back behind her to sit. And she's going into a full sit on that platform and then coming on forward. Okay, so that wraps up the fitness park. There's some good exercises that you can do. If you have accessories of your own, like bands or medicine balls, and you want to bring a couple things out here and make it part of your workout, it's great. We're outdoors. We're in the shade this time of year, so you don't have to worry about the sun. So anyway, get your exercises in. Again, if you have any questions, if you're not sure about something, ask somebody first before you attempt it. Hopefully we gave you some good instruction here and you can have fun with the equipment out here. See you soon.